Hey y'all, welcome to another Wedding Wednesday. My name is Michelle Ellis, and I'm the owner of McEllis Brides Design Studio in Hampton, Virginia. And my sidekick is over here, Penelope, my one-year-old. And it's Wedding Wednesday, where we share tips and tricks for brides-to-be. So we've been doing a couple on um, how to remove stains on your big day. We've done one on how to remove deodorant stains, how to remove lipstick, makeup, and now we're going to try red wine. Uh, so I went and brought this little bottle of red wine from Walgreens to test it out. I haven't tested it out yet. And I just took a cap full and just kind of poured it up there. And if you guys can see it. And it's just white satin. So... We are going to try our stain remover from our bridal emergency kit and see if it works on red wine. And again, you really don't need to rub it. We'll just rub it in further. We're actually going to just kind of like blot it and see what happens. Oh, I didn't bring my water spray bottle. Because you may have to follow up with water on this one. Just because it's kind of almost turning like purpley a little bit. But it did come out. Very easily I might add. So that came right out. I mean, it's completely gone. And then I would just follow up with just like a little water um, spray bottle. Or you could just put a little water on a part of this that's dry. And this, this is my water bottle. I usually have a spray one. Just had a little water in there. And that will help take care of um, kind of like that grayish hue. Try to rinse out that wine. So now, little girl. Where are you going? I'll do it again since you guys can kind of see the table. Let me see if I can point it. If my camera falls over, I'm sorry. Okay, so I think you guys can see. It might be, it's not really focusing on because the table's white. Let me see, do I have something dark I can put underneath it real quick? No, everything's white. Oh, no, I found something. Hold on, guys. Sheer black. So let's see. This might help you guys to see better. Okay. So we're just going to pour a little bit up here. Try not to make this video too long. But I'm just pouring some up here. You can see where it is now. There you go. Now you can see that. Now you can just watch me clean it. This is the cleaner. I didn't need very much, so I'm not going to spray more cleaner up here. This is the same cleaner. It's all natural. It doesn't stink. It doesn't have like vinegar in it. You won't smell it. So you're not going to get all stinky trying to clean your gown on your wedding day and then you walk around smelling strange afterwards just so you get that stain out. So I did have to spray some more up here. And you're just going to blot it. And I told you guys last week just to drink white wine and just wear clear lipstick. I'm just joking. And these things won't happen. But if you don't want to do that, this works. Get you a bridal emergency kit so you have your cleaner, your magic all-natural cleaner. And then again, I would follow up with a little water. I don't have any more water left. But I would just put a little water on just a clean piece and do it again. Just blot it again. And then take a clean piece. And this is cheesecloth. Take a clean piece of cheesecloth and try to absorb some of the water. Also, when you're cleaning a garment and it's on, like, it's on you. Or if you, I would get someone else to do it. Take, try to have like a, like, maybe a rag or something dry underneath to try to help it absorb um the liquid 
and that'll probably help it clean faster too so yeah it's completely gone that's amazing look at that own little baby so in your bridal emergency kit these are gonna go up on my website very soon i was supposed to do it last week i didn't okay so you're gonna have a little teeny tiny sewing kit for those little things that might happen little rips or tears somewhere you'll get a hanky there's a wedding wednesday video about this about not using tissue so if you do happen to cry which i know a lot of us say we're not going to cry at our wedding i did even though i totally said i wasn't i didn't cry at any other time not when i got engaged not when i found my gown i didn't cry until wedding day i literally boohooed and then i had to like get my little hanky and just kind of dab my face there um because if you use tissue it's going to leave tissue streaks you'll have some cheesecloth in your emergency kit penelope can i have that can i have that you'll have some deodorant in your kit it'll come in this like little organza bag here and you'll have your spray your cleaning spray which i don't have a sample of that just yet but i will have it tomorrow and i'll upload that and yeah and that's it why are you yelling at me here you go. You want the kit? You want it? Okay. Penelope wants to say hi. Pen. She has cookies on her mouth. Pen, pen. Say hello. Say hello. Say get your bridal emergency kit. So you'll need it. Can you wave? Penelope. Can you wave? You're preoccupied. Rosie girl. Ooh, let me see that smile. Oh, take care. <laughs> Say bye bye. Say bye bye. No, not today. All right, she's occupied now, y'all. Now she has nothing to say. All right, well, that's it. I'll see you guys next Wednesday. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to see. Um, stain wise, I can't think of anything else. Makeup, we did red wine, deodorant. Those are the most common things that I see that happen on wedding days. And it kind of like throws a small like wrench in your plans. But these are quick, easy fixes. So you're not all like stressed out and being crazy on your wedding day, which I'm sure might possibly still happen. But at least it won't be because of these reasons. All right, guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.